Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcrise Fantasia. What I was saying was... Uh... Can't do Robris yet, can I? Darn. Oh, he is so low! Damn, this went fast. Uh, so Steel's the only one with HP up, uh, though. Alright, so... Right, I'm using a race from the Advanced Race Guide. You know what? I will use Ignis B. Or no, not Ignis B. Uh, GB. I smell something fishy. Uh, he's gonna block this, isn't he? I'll try. You know, he's very low. Something's amiss. Beware. Uh, I'm using this race, and it's called Catfolk. And you'd usually think that the Catfolk would, um, you know, be more asphyxiated to the rogue or ninja type of class. Ooh, it broke through! Nice! Oh, if this ends it off, I will just laugh out loud. Oh. I guess I don't get the laugh. <sighs> and so... What's here. really interesting is the cat folks get a race-specific feat that... Uh, he's out of magic. Nah, just fireball spam. Because he's casting after Rost and then they'll all sink. And then just attack. Uh, it's called Catfolk Exemplar, and what that does is, depending on the racial traits you chose, uh, you can select, uh, certain manifestations of... No one can defeat me! I am Cecile, hero of justice! You know, the sort of cat-like, uh, features. And I'll get into those after this cutscene. Wow, thank you so much for rescuing me! Are you Dr. Carlyle? Yes. I don't know if I'm the smart beauty you were hoping for, but the name's Sonia Carlyle. You're Dr. Carlyle? I don't care what anybody says about the voice acting in this game. This voice fits perfectly. I heard y'all were looking for me, but... Haven't you heard from Nico? Oh, I have. So which one of you is Lark Bright Lagoon? That's me. I've heard a lot about you from Sir Vice. Please call me Sonia. Great! We're here to ask you some questions about Hozone Code Conversion. Hozone Code Conversion? Alright, I'm gonna need a whiteboard, some Cheetos, and at least 15 different colors of marker. All dry erase. You see, the thing is... Hmm... Interesting. I see you all reached the same conclusion that Sir Vice did. He was thinking along similar lines? Yes. He saved me when I was unconscious and dying. You seem a little too chipper to be someone who was once unconscious and dying. When he found out I was of the divine race, he had me do research on ways to counter the effects of Hozone. I suppose his strong will must run in the family, hey, Lark? You know about that, too? He always told me if something should happen to him, to look to his little brother for help. Sonya, my beauty. Seriously, Serge? Seriously? Is that a tie she's wearing? How is that research going? Ah, yes. Well... Basically, I've found that it isn't completely impossible. There's a chance! That's all we know. Would you mind coming with me into these caves? I think I can explain everything better from inside. I guess you'll have to. Okay, let's go. So anyways, um... God darn it. I'm going to heal and conceivably get some mana back. Ah, oh, that ain't gonna work. Let's just hope we don't run into another boss battle. 
So, uh, when you take the feat, and you can only take it once, you choose a way in which uh, your cat folk heritage uh, manifests. Oh dear god, no! Solar Snake! Um... Oh. So, you can choose to have it manifest in, you know, cat sights, uh, the cat nimbleness, I guess, I'm not entirely sure, and, you know, having claws. Wow, this is just full of cutscenes. Okay, here we are. These caves, as far as I know, contain the highest concentration of ray on the planet. Cool. But even so, if we bring in a plant that's polluted with ozone, it crystallizes. <laughs> that's what it looks like, right? But actually... Whoa! It's like magic! I have installed a code conversion device in this plant that disables the effects of the ozone inside it. As you can see, it effectively neutralizes the ozone. But it took one month to convert the code for the ozone in this plant. Even with the ray suppressing the power of the ozone, it still takes a fair amount of time. Well, that's no use then. To neutralize the ozone for the divine race, we must convert the code for the whole world. That's right. And if we completely neutralize it, the ozone will simply become ray. We have to neutralize its poison while still maintaining its ozone state. That takes too much time. Is there any other way? Well, there is one thing. What do we have to do? Before I answer that, let me ask you something. Why have you gone through all this, Lark? Depending on how you answer that, I may not be able to help you. I told Sir Vice that I wanted to bring the future of humankind back into the hands of the people. That's not a lie, but the main reason I'm here is because I want to protect myself and my friends. But I can't be content if I only save those around me while the rest of the world dies. I just thought it would be great if I could save everyone else too while I was at it. Lark. <laughs> Sir Vice's answer was pretty good, but yours wasn't too bad either. Okay, I'll tell you what we have to do. We have to use the Singing Stone. Whoa. Anyone gain a flashback to those animes where there's nerds wearing glasses and there's little squirrels? Okay, there's no squirrels this time, but it sort of reminds me of that because you can never see their eyes through it. The Singing Stone? Isn't that... Simma's memories of his past. Remember? In Simma's memories, he said something about how he revered the Singing Stone as a god. The stone is currently in the Holy Land of Noir. The god Isa that you speak of is none other than the Singing Stone itself. Yeah? So you want us to rely on a god? Well, technically, Isa is not a god at all. It is a jewel that spins the code of the planet within its core. Yeah? What are you talking about? You don't believe me? Well, it's true. I was there when the Knight Alul first discovered the Singing Stone. A thousand years ago, people revered the stone as a god. You know you're strapped for a religion when you turn to rocks. So that's what Sir Vice was talking about when he said people created the gods. I'll tell you more about all this later. If we can harness the power of the Singing Stone, we can use that to neutralize the Hozone. If that's true, then that means I have to go to the Holy Land of Noir, right? But you need to bond with Nine Rogress to get there. But hasn't Alf bonded with all the remaining Rogress already? So, we have to go and take the Rogress from him? I'll let you figure out how to do that. For now, let's get outside. It's cold down here. What is with everyone in feeling cold? I've been in caves with half the amount of clothing you have. Not like literally half, but you know what I mean. Half the layers. So, um, 
yeah, I believe uh, it's the manifestation of their ability to see in the dark, the manifestation of how nimble and quick they are, and the manifestation of their claws. No magic. And so in the claw, also um, in the basic description of the what's it called, uh, feet, uh, it says that taking this feat allows you to take another feat. Here I come. Awesome! That is the kind of thing I want to see from a hero. Um, it allows you to take the feat, uh, Aspect of the Beast without meeting the prerequisites. Not working too now, Aspect of the Beast is a pretty force shield. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Piece of cake. Huh. This is nasty. Oh, wow. Uh, attack and magic bonus defense and res penalty only usable on... Oh, defense and resistance penalty. Oh... And then it does damage within that radius. Eh, that's interesting. Uh, uh, I guess I can use some magic on this douche. We'll finish them quickly. What? Oh. I don't know why I'm going all fire on. Is that what? No! Dear God. No! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this, this game <laughs> is trying to kill me. Here we go. This physical thing is down, right? Yes. I knew that. Um, so, Aspect of the Beast is a interesting feat, as... Um, there's more ways to get it without meeting the prerequisites, and there are ways to get it with the prerequisites. Uh, the regular prerequisite is uh, the Wild Shape class feature, which is a Druid's class feature, and they're sort of just like, uh... Hippies. <laughs> this is the best way I can describe them. And so, but there's... Numerous ways of taking it without the prerequisite, such as... Even listed in the feat itself, such as... Uh, if you're a ranger with the uh, natural weapons um, uh, style, because like rangers choose style, like a style of weapons, and then they can take free feats from that uh, when they get to certain levels. Uh, not as much as a fighter would, just in general, but eh. And and if you were a lycan, which is basically a werewolf. Or wear rat, or wear horse, or wear whatever. Hell, even wear human. There's literally um, in the bestiary of the game. I have to go meet with the resistance members now. A uh, little segment on create your own lichen trophy. So, yeah, that. Are you a member of the resistance too, Sonia? Yes, I joined up with them after Sir Vice passed away. I'm teaching them how to craft weapons and fight- You know how to craft weapons. Interesting. Oh, that reminds me. I heard you're the new leader of the Resistance, Lark. Well, yeah, kinda. But right now, we have to get all the Rogress together, don't we? That's right. Once you open up a path to the Holy Land of Noir, I'll be able to help you more. Okay. We'll come find you when we're ready. All right. I'll be in the Senate in Carbunculus waiting for you. The leader, uh, director, should let me use the laboratory there. Shelly? Yes, thanks to her, I'm able to concentrate on my research. Anyway, until then... Well, we know what we have to do. Should we go bust it on Alf now? I guess we have to. Besides, old Clyde told us to do whatever it takes to stop him. 
Yeah, and as the new leader of the Resistance, I guess you kind of owe it to them to overthrow his evil rule and all. Hey, I... Lark, if you can just get Lord Alf to listen to you, then maybe you can fix this. That's what you yes. want, right? Let's go see Alf and Adele, Lark. Okay, you're right. Let's head to Diamond. <laughs> 